The currency matrix indicator for TradeStation is the next in the suite of Forex specific indicators. And whereas with the currency strength indicator, we were looking at the individual currencies themselves, in other words, the building blocks of this market. With the currency matrix, what we're looking at is we've now moved to currency pairs. Now, once again, I've got three time frames. I've got the five minute on the left, I've got the 10 minute in the middle, and I've got the 15 minute over on the right hand side. And what this indicator does, amongst many other things, is it ranks the currency pairs according to their strength and weakness in that particular time frame. So, in terms of the five minute time frame, we can see that at the top here we've got the pound New Zealand, pound Swiss, pound yen. Down at the bottom here we've got the euro pound. Now that gives us a sense of the strength in those trends but what we're also interested in is whether that uh, movement in a particular pair which is at the top of the bottom is actually universal across the currency complex. And I'll explain what I mean. If we isolate out the British pound here, what we see is we've got a grouping of three at the top here. We've got three which are a mid-table. Basically, the, the way the ranking works is it's a complex algorithm which works behind the scenes. And as currencies move in above the, the fulcrum, if you will, of zero down here, they either move into positive territory and start to go up into the green area and see we go into a yellow and then into a much darker green alternatively they go down into the orange and reds down here so this data is basically a calculation to to give us the opportunity to rank currency pairs in this way on every single time frame now what this also means is that we get a sense of whether the currency pair that we are going to trade is actually moving in the universal flow and what I mean by that is this, if we're going to trade, let's say we're going to trade pound yen, we're going to buy pound yen, we're going to buy pounds, really what we want to know is whether the market per se in that particular time frame is also buying the pound universally. Now on many occasions you will see a currency pair, and this is where a lot of forex traders struggle because they're looking at one currency pair in isolation. They don't appreciate that there is a, a matrix, a, a a pound complex, a dollar complex, where all these pairs are related to one another through that particular currency. And if it's being bought universally or sold universally, that's great because it means you are trading with the universal flow of sentiment. So if you think of it in terms of a river, for example, you basically want to be paddling with the, in the direction of the river, in the direction of the flow of the river. There are occasions when you can trade against the flow but generally speaking, you want to be trading with the flow because it's a lower risk proposition. Basically, if the whole market is buying, buying the British pound, you want to be buying the British pound too. You don't particularly want to be selling it. As I say, there are occasions when uh, through local politics, uh, local um, uh, fundamental data, they will drive a particular currency in one direction against one pair and the universal flow will be in another. It happens, uh, but uh, you know, generally speaking, the, one of the reasons we developed the currency matrix was to give us this information as to the universal nature of the flow. In other words, if we're buying the pound, is the market universally buying the pound? We can see what's going on on, on the five minute of the chart at the moment, and this is starting to come off a little bit. If we go over onto the 10 minute, we've got a similar situation here. We've got the pound New Zealand, which was up here, it's hopping around. There's a little bit of weakness coming in. You can see the euro pound here has started to, to move off the bottom slot. It was at the bottom when we started. It's now slipped up a, up a place. So the, clearly there is some, some weakness now coming into that particular bullish momentum was in the pound. If we hop over onto the 15 minute, let's just highlight it there. Okay, on 15, we're pretty much uh, as we were. And that's as you would expect because exact, in exactly the same way as on the currency strength indicator, what you see on the fastest time frame, if it's going to be a true change in trend or change in sentiment, it will ripple through into your, into your mid-term uh, time, time frame and out onto your slower one. So what we're seeing at the moment, it's really a visual perspective, if you will, 
and it's probably pretty clearly displayed here. The, the perfect scenario, if you like, is when you have all six of these ranked at the top with no gaps, and you've got this one at the bottom, which is telling you loud and clear that the market is, is buying the British pound uh, without question. And clearly it's down at the bottom because the pound is the counter currency on these and the pound is the primary currency up on these ones. So it gives you an instant visual on sentiment towards that particular currency that you are considering trading. And what we're seeing here now is you can start to see some of these are starting to slide down, particularly the pound dollar. It's hopping around in here. It's in this mid-table region. You know, it's, it's below here. If you're trading a currency pair and you're long, let's say you're on pound New Zealand, something like that, you want to see all these moving up. You also want to see all these moving up as well. You want to see this happening over on the 10 minute and you want to see it happening over on the 15 minute time frame as well. So that is what the currency matrix tells you. It gives you all that information. Now, in addition to that, clearly, you have these extremes in the same way at the top and bottom, in the same way we had on the currency strength indicator where a currency will move into an overbought or oversold position. You have exactly the same scenario with a currency pair. And what we've done on TradeStation with the the, the data here is to give you a sense of when that particular number is high or is it average or is it low. In other words, when a currency pair is reaching the top, they're all stacked up at the top here or, or approaching the top, is this number here, how does it figure in the, the history, if you will, of what is high, medium, low? If you remember back to the currency strength indicator, we had the 80-20 there. This is a similar sort of thing. It just gives you a gauge, a guide, if you will, and what it's telling us here at the moment is the average high is 14.3. So this is not particularly high. And the all-time high over the last seven bars is 21.87. So, you know, there's some way to go. So if you were trading this long, it would give you some comfort that, do you know what? We're actually not at the all-time high. In fact, we're a long way off. And also we're below the average. So in terms of where we are, purely from a visual perspective of the data, you would have some, some understanding that, you know, this has got a little bit further to go because it's not at an extreme in terms of the data per se. We look over on the 10 minute, similar situation. The, all, the average high is 14.3, so we're well above that. And the all time high is 23.21. So, you know, in terms of the, slow, the slightly slower time frame, that certainly looks as though, you know, it's getting up to that level where it could actually be approaching that sort of region for a possible reversal. Over onto the 15 minute, exactly the same principle, 24.82 for the high, 16.92. So we've gone through the average, we're at the average, you know, we're there or thereabouts. We could go a lot higher, we could go up to 24. So this bullish momentum that's, uh, that's driving this at the moment is pretty strong. Now what's interesting about it at the moment is in terms of cable, pound dollar here, this is not following suit. It's not rising here along with the others. So if you're trading cable, you need to have this information. And there may well be a good reason for that because you're seeing it on five. You're also seeing that profile on 10. Now that may well be because the dollar is having a big impact in what is going on there. Because if you look up at the top here, we've got the dollar Swiss. Now what is that telling you? Well, it's telling you certainly we've got some strong buying in the market. And that may well be what is holding down uh, the cable right now. So it gives you that information as well um, in a similar way, if you like, to the currency strength indicator where it gave you information about you know, which currency pairs perhaps not to, not to trade because they were trading sideways. The currency matrix gives it to you, but perhaps in a little bit of a, of a different way. But it's telling you, obviously, from a pair perspective, when you're looking at it, think, okay, fine. You know, the cable, if you're buying pound, cable would not be the one to choose right now because you can see it's literally mid-table and it's moving down into negative territory. And that may well be because you've now got dollar Swiss dollar yen. So we've got some strong dollar buying going on here. So all this information is contained here. It's just a fantastically powerful indicator. You use it in this way. You've got the highs and lows here to give you that sense of, of extremes or and, and more particularly to tease out the sentiment for that particular pair that you're trading. Is it trading with the universal flow or am I trying to battle against the current, which you would be if you're trading cable right now because it's not following the broad sentiment up here and largely that will be because of 
the dollar and what is going on with the dollar. You can then take this to the next level. You can isolate out on the dollar and do the same thing and you'll get a picture of the dollar. That's how you do it. It really does. This is, it, it, it's starting to build from our currency strength indicator. We're now starting to build into understanding what is going on in the currency markets themselves in terms of the pairs without having to have hundreds of charts open. This gives you all the visual information here. And of course, as with the currency strength indicator, it works in all timeframes. I hope you enjoyed that particular video. Thanks for watching. Lots more to come. I'll see you again soon and bye for now.